Hello everyone, welcome to Robot Fight Club, my name is Lucas. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some much needed upgrades to my one pound Shufflebot Pronghorn. Robot Fight Club. So if you guys have seen my other channel, you're probably familiar with my Antweight Shufflebot Pronghorn. I did a bit of a competition in my garage with some of my friends with a prototype design. It wasn't really fit for combat, but I fought it anyways. And that didn't go too well. So I want to make this robot competitive, so I'm going to go ahead and start a full rebuild. I'm going to save a lot of the aspects of the design, but I'm going to definitely have to make some major changes for this robot to be successful. Okay guys, so this is the base plate design. So previously, I had this base plate, which is a full 3D printed base plate, and it was a terrible idea to be honest. Um, it's just way too time consuming to make this out of a full 3D print, and this weapon mount would flex way too much, so it would cause the weapon to malfunction, as you've seen in rumbling robots if you've taken a look at that. So this was a terrible idea so I'm not going to do this again. Instead I'm going to cut one out out of HDPE, so just a cutting board. Okay here is the base plate. It's eight and a half inches long, four inches wide, and we have the holes drilled for the back leg mount, the motor mount, and the front leg mount. And I've cut out these slots for the crankshaft to be able to clear the base plate. I have not cut out the groove for the vertical spinner. Some other things that I've done since the previous design is I have shortened the, the entire thing basically. As you can see, this was where the legs went to. In the first, or this wasn't the first, but the previous design, and the legs here are much closer together, which I'm hoping will allow it to turn better and, and such. So I've made it narrower, which will hopefully give it better maneuverability. It was actually already pretty maneuverable, so hopefully this will just help out a little bit. So these are some 3D printed leg bracket mounts and I don't have a 3D printer myself but my friend was kind enough to do it for me so I have these and what these do this is the back one and these two are the front and then the aluminum brackets that hold the legs will go into there now I'm gonna go ahead and I think I need to make some new aluminum brackets because these ones um, don't have the holes drilled in the correct spots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll go ahead and put these brackets onto the base plate. Okay guys, I have all the brackets done, so I'm going to go ahead and mount the bracket mounts onto the base plate and then go ahead and put these in, and then we can start assembling the legs. Ladies and gentlemen, we have everything mounted on here as far as what's connected directly to the base plate. We have the gearbox and then the brackets for the legs. So now what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and take these legs. And I'm using all aluminum legs. I have four with lightning holes and two without. Um, 
I'm going to put these four in the back and then these two in the front to, I don't know, hopefully take a little bit more punishment than the other ones will, but it probably won't matter. I'm not too worried about weight. We have 141 grams right now. Um, I have one and a half pounds to work with, so I am not too worried at this point. And then these are the linkages from the old design. I'm going to go ahead and reuse these. I'm just gonna have to cut them down a little bit so they fit on this design since this is shorter. Okay, so I was originally going to make the new linkages out of the old ones so I could use one of the holes, but it's close enough together where the new hole would overlap with the old one, so I'm gonna have to remake completely new ones. So just got new popsicle sticks in. Yeah, the linkages are popsicle sticks, they work great. So, let's get it. Okay guys, so I have the drive finished up. It's all mounted. I have these new linkages on. They're actually about a quarter inch shorter than the other ones on the previous version of this robot. So, they appear to be working pretty well. The only issue, I think, is this leg goes down a lot farther than it goes up in relation to these two, so I think I might have a little bit of trouble with this middle leg, but the easiest way to solve that would be to shorten it a little bit, so not a big deal. Other than that, I really like how this turned out. It looks much more... It's much more squat and compact so I think it will do well and be more mobile than the previous version. I'm going to go ahead and put in the motors and hook it up to the controls and then we can go ahead and test it out. Okay, so I have it all hooked up to an RC car receiver just for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and give it a run on the ground. Alright guys, so as you could see in the video, it wasn't driving that great, it was just kind of struggling with everything, so it wasn't really doing that good, and I found out the reason, which is because this middle leg doesn't clear the ground enough, it actually sits lower than the other two on the side, so it doesn't have enough ground clearance to really get a good, like it clears the ground like that much when it comes off and I've just found out why that is and I feel really dumb but whatever so these little 3d printed brackets that are holding the metal bracket pieces right here um, cause the the two legs here to sit more off the ground and I didn't do anything to correct this for the ones that are mounted straight to the gear motor so essentially these ones are up higher and this leg is lower which is causing it to not get enough ground clearance and it's super obvious but I didn't even notice it until now but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and fix it and we can give it a second run okay so I have this piece that came with it and it sits about the same amount off the ground as these brackets do so I'm going to go ahead and put that under the gear motor and we'll see what happens. Alright guys so I got the motor mounted again and it's looking pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and give it a test.
Alright guys, so overall I'm really happy with how this turned out. There's still a bit of tweaking I could do, but that last drive test was much, much better than the first one, so it's looking pretty good, and I pretty much have the drive finished, so hopefully soon I'll be able to get the weapons in and start putting in the electronics. For weapons, it's going to be modular, so we'll see what cool weapons we can come up with, and it should be pretty fun. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful or entertaining, and if it was, please go ahead and like and subscribe, and down in the comments I'll answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys next time.